Hey guys, it's Casey and Bethany from The Dirty Gym. Today we're gonna to be going through some body mobility work and also some just like general great things for you to do to help after bench sessions, okay? So what we're gonna be focusing on musculature wise is the pecs, the lats, the biceps, the triceps, and then the thoracic spine region, okay? So what you're gonna need for this is a band, a rock tape ball duo. So there's a large one that's a little bit spiky and then also a smaller one that's smooth in this duo. And then also your larger grid ball from rock tape. So our format, we're gonna start with some static stretching and then go on to our pinpoint mobility tools, okay? Okay, so we're gonna start off with some very simple stretches for both our pecs and our biceps here. And so while we're doing these static stretches, I really want you to think about as we're easing into these positions and as we hold these positions, where we're still feeling some tightness. And that's going to be indicative of where then we need to go in with our final, finer tools and address those issues, okay? So remember when we are stretching, we wanna spend time in these positions give our muscles time to relax and open up, okay? So Bethany is going to start with her hands straight out, and then she's going to grab one leg and rotate over, okay? And she's going to hang out here. So you should feel this through your bicep, on the side you're rotated over towards, and then also through your pec, okay? So spend some time in this position, and also make sure you do both sides. Okay, please do both sides, not just one side. Even if you are having some real tightness in one side, please do both so you feel equal. You just may need to spend a little less time on one side versus the other. Really listen to your body when you are doing these things, okay? Okay, our next stretch that we're going to do is our bridge, or some people will call it a wheel. Now, this is going to be pretty intense. If you know you are not very flexible through your thoracic spine and pecs and lats, you may wanna start on a wall with this and slowly walk down, okay? But Bethany is going to place her hands into her bridge position, and then she's going to drive up through her hands and legs to achieve this. So you'll notice when she's in this position, most of this arch that she's producing is from her thoracic spine and she's neutral through the midline. This is ideally what we want, okay? So spend some time. Ideally, you're not gonna spend as much time here as your others, but you're one are gonna do repeated efforts in this position. So hold for 20 to 30 seconds, relax, down, let your body come back to homeostasis here from that very deep stretch, and then go back into it, okay? You can also straighten your legs and push back towards your shoulders to get a deeper stretch through the pec and lat. And you can also push the opposite way with your hands as well, okay? So really ease into this position, practice these, Okay, this is a tool to really help your bench arch if you are trying to achieve a deeper arch position that comes from the thoracic spine and not your erectors, okay? That is where our arch needs to come from in the bench. If it is coming from the back and through our erectors, we're gonna get a lot of back pain. And that is not what we want. That arch should come from the thoracic spine. So this is a great tool to develop that arch position. Okay, let's get a little bit deeper into our stretching. And for this one, we're going to use a band. Okay, you want a little bit thicker of a band. So your average or your light band are preferred for this one. So Bethany has her hand laced through the band and she's going to grab and then step straight back into it, pulling the chest down, and she's going to get tension through her lat here. Okay, while she's in this position, she's going to rotate her hand as well. So wherever you feel a sticky point in here, hang out there for a bit, okay? Once we've addressed all the concerns through the lat area, 
Then we are going to rotate our body and open up so we can target more pec here, okay? Once you've addressed all concerns there and maybe we have a little residual tightness, then we'll start utilizing some of our balls to get even deeper into that pec area. Okay, let's dig in a little deeper to those pecs. So we're gonna use the grid ball for this one. It's nice and large in diameter, so your body is not just going to be engulfed by a small ball. So I really enjoy something a little bit larger to dig into the pec so that I can lay down on it. I'm not trying to support with my upper body and then my arms get tired and I'm not in the position very long. So you're gonna take this ball, dig it right into your pec, and you can always augment where your arm actually is. So Bethany has her arm bent right now. She can also extend her arm out as well while she's in this position. And you really wanna do short, small little strokes. If you find something that's particularly painful, hang out there. Let your body meld right around that ball. Really get that high tension area out of there. And it may take minutes, it could take up to five minutes for some of that tension to release. So really take your time here, work through that whole pec, okay? So really start at the attachment point and work all the way in, okay? And use your body weight to your advantage here while you're doing this one. Okay, let's dig further into those triceps. So now we're gonna use the rock ball duo. We're gonna use the little spiky one, okay? I find that it's easier to maintain contact with my skin. It's not going to slip on very slippery surfaces. So that's why I prefer this ball. It's also a little bit larger in diameter as well, okay? So Bethany is going to place this ball right at the base of her tricep, and she's going to then extend her elbow, okay? And she can use her body weight to really like dig into that tricep meat area. So once all of the small little nastiness has been finished at the elbow, we're just slowly going to work our way up the whole tricep, repeating the same process. Again, take your time here, okay? You don't have to rush through this. You shouldn't rush through this. Take your time on these areas. Okay, let's dig into the biceps now. So for this, again, we're gonna use that grid ball duo, the spiky variety. You could also use the voodoo tape like we use around the knee joint, around the bicep area as well, or a barbell for this too, okay? But Bethany is going to place herself around the pillar, put pressure into that ball. And I really like to use the pillar so you can really wrap yourself around there. You don't feel constrained by a wall and having that really hard, flat surface. The pillar is really, really nice if you're in the gym for this as well. But she's just going to dig into that bicep, find all those nasty little points, and put pressure into the ball in those really, really nasty points until they begin to release. Okay. Now let's dig into that upper back a little bit more. It's very common from sitting especially at a computer all day or using your phone quite a lot that the region right around the scapula gets very, very gummy. Our traps get very, very gummy and also our T-spine area here, okay? And especially if we're trying to work on achieving a better arch position, working through the upper back is going to be very important, okay? So we're gonna use our ball or if you know your upper back's like super gnarly in there, you can also use a roller first and then go to the ball. But we're gonna start and work through our trap and work all the way down and across as well. Okay, so you can use this up against the wall or for extra body weight, you can lay directly down on top of the ball and it'll dig in there a little bit deeper as well. Thank you guys for watching today and I really hope stretching and learning these modalities really helps you achieve a better arch in your bench press and can help you, you know, minimize the small aches and pains that you get between massage sessions. It's really important for you to follow up with yourself 
in between your massage sessions. You don't want your massage therapist working on the same thing over and over and over with you, okay? So please do your homework and help them out. Thank you guys for watching. It's Casey and Bethany from The Dirty Gym.